try to pull out all my nose hairs before we get started. My eyes are watery. Oh, well, a lot has happened since I've seen you last. I, so much time has passed. I, I just don't have the time. The building has started. I got this crazy job to build this wine case. I'll talk more about it once the job is delivered next week. This is one of those jobs where they say, do whatever you want. My idea, my design, my everything. Wine case was all I was given. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. It's going to a special person. I'll let you know next week who gets it. It's gonna lead to more interesting creative work. I'm super excited about this lead. I'll let you know more as it develops. I'm gonna bring this table to Fabtech and there's gonna be a bunch of YouTubers there. Fabtech is this coming weekend. I'm gonna to drive to Chicago on Friday. Saturday, there's probably gonna be a hangout and Sunday is Fabtech and Monday is Fabtech. I'll be doing a live feed. It's probably a Facebook feed, I think, or Instagram, I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna be the host of the live feed. There'll be a lot of YouTubers there. John Malecki, Johnny Brook, Doug from Retro Weld, Zach from ZH Fabrication, April. I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. But come check us out at the Lincoln booth. We're all gonna be there. I'm making the tabletop, everybody's making the chairs. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Big shout out to ZT Fab. They gave me this beautiful cart. It's a great beginner kit if you're new to welding and you wanna learn how to weld. Fits a lot of different welders. You could modify it. There's all different accessories you could buy. Thank you, ZT Fab. I really appreciate it. I'll see you Fab Tech, I think. Another interesting project that just got this 13 foot slab of redwood. It's four inches thick. It's about four feet wide at its widest point. This is gonna be a big giant banquet table. It's gonna go outside the United States. As the project develops, I'll tell you more, but this redwood slab is from Wineland Walnut in Chico, California. Got the lead through Nick. Guys at Wineland, thank you very much. As this project develops, you'll be seeing more. I'm gonna clean this slab up, sand it, smooth it, and then we're gonna build a steel base for it. It's gonna be a big, giant table. Project doesn't have to be done for a few months yet, so we'll see it develop as it develops. This is a little promotion from Maker Central. I'm gonna be at Maker Central in May of 2018, link below. Maker Central is gonna be a huge get together for a lot of American makers, a lot of European makers. We're all getting together in England, Birmingham. Be there or be square. This video will be out maybe tonight, tomorrow night. Workbench Con is in February of 2018. It's gonna be a lot of YouTubers. Bob's gonna be there, a lot of big names. Take a look at the link below to see who the list of people are. Each one of us are gonna have a different talk about our jobs as influencers. Mine specifically is gonna be about getting back on the horse after failure and rejection. I face a lot of failure, a lot of rejection in my career. I'm just gonna talk about how you just keep going forward, moving forward, keeping your eye on the goal. That's what my talk will be about. I think it's in Atlanta. bought two antique printing presses from Alan this week. I bought a 1930 Chandler in price, 11 by 15. And when I was there, he goes, oh, check this one out. And he had a peerless 11 by 15, circa kind of 1880s, 1890s. Two beautiful machines now. I'm gonna be running some bigger posters on them. And my Maker Man and my If It Looks Straight, It Is Straight posters it will definitely be available in the next couple weeks on my site. I just printed about 150 of each of them. Meet Alan. I started to do a house restoration for myself and I went to buy a table saw to start and looking at new table saws I realized this is a complete piece of junk. So I went and got a saw that was a hundred years old. It came out of an old mill shop in New England. It comes out of factories, it comes out of schools, it comes out of small shops that may not be useful in a production environment for their maintenance shops in a large factory. Yeah. Um, for a small shop or somebody at home, you can't buy the quality of what these old machines are at any 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 price. Wherever I can find space, I fill it up. I have auctions, um, you know, schools, um, I get referrals. It's, it's You're just, in the game now, so people are constantly yeah, giving you. It's all random. Um, a lot of these items are used film, television, theater, set right. design. A lot of times they just want to get rid of it. It's big, it's heavy. The logistics of dealing with it is, is the biggest problem. Take it away. Right. And I don't want to see this stuff go to the scrapyard. It just kills me because I know that somebody 
came into that shop for 40 years and made something at that machine. And they were productive. And to, to, to see it go into the scrap heap, there's no, there's no sense to it. There's no sense to it. Somebody can use this for another 40 years. Pure video artist steps into the camera. That's it. There you go. Tell everybody who you are and what you make. Scott Turner. I'm formerly industrious and I make industrial vintage furniture and a bit of art. And what are you doing in America? I'm coming to see you and Mr. Tim Sway and just enjoy the hospitality of this great country. Never Who's, heard of him. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Welcome, buddy. I hope you have fun. Thank you very much. Scott gave this to me. Thank you, Scott. Super cool of you to give this to me. Check out Scott Turner, make this little anvil. I watched the video last week and he shows up and he gives it to me. So Scott, thank you so much. So sweet, I love this community. It's just, it's incredible, it really is. <laughs> Don't forget to go to Tim Sway Perspectives and buy your own square. Thing does a million things. I'm Ben Ueda, I make stuff too. What are you doing in Long Island? Oh, I read your thing. Uh, drinking wine and I get a couple of fancy pussies. <laughs> Where are the Peloponnes? About a year ago, I was introduced to Trent Pressler. He is a canoe maker, lives out in Long Island. And we have a lot of mutual friends in common. We didn't know that until we actually met. He's got a huge Instagram. Go check out his Instagram. And last weekend, he got a bunch of friends together. Trent owns a part of this vineyard, so he had us all get together. He basically held a salon, and it was a really great evening with friends and artists and singers and poets. And I got to reconnect with some old friends. Great, great special night. So Trent, thank you very much. And go check out Trent's new YouTube channel. He is an incredible canoe maker, and he really is pushing the boundaries of traditional traditional canoe making. Go check them out and give them some community support. Thank you for a beautiful, inspiring day. Thanks, brother. I had a good day at the flea market, so I wanted to do another episode of uh, Flea Market Finds. This is an old wooden cheese box, but I got this because if you notice, the letters are stamped in with a letterpress machine. This gives me some ideas. Two bucks. This is a beautiful old level. It says Starrett, 10 bucks. Ten bucks. Two bucks. So I think I'm gonna ask Tracy to make me a handle for this. 40 bucks. A brand new Craftsman indicator in the box, never used, 20 bucks. Whole set of rifling files. This is for creating the rifling patterns in a rifle stock. The brand name is Gunline. Bin of them with all extra teeth, all different shapes and angles. 
think this was 40 bucks. Five bucks. I'm gonna make a new one of these for a friend. Mm -hmm. This gives me the incentive to remember not to forget about it. These are a dollar each. Three of them. These little parts bins. Dollar each. Fine tool bag. Dell telephone systems. Hook. Two bucks. This was the winner. I found this on eBay for 125 bucks. Paid 10. I've talked about this building so much that even I am sick of hearing myself talk about it. But it is finally happening. Kyle is making my dreams come true. If you don't know Kyle from RR Buildings, follow him on his YouTube. He's doing a daily vlog on, on this building process. He doesn't like building outside of Illinois, but he came here just for me. So Kyle, big hug. Thank you, brother. It really is happening. And a big part of the reason this is happening is because of this YouTube community. And I absolutely mean that. A couple of years ago, I did the fundraiser. I raised quite a bit of money. And my Patreon and my YouTube support, thank you guys. Thank you you so much and once this place is open I'm gonna open it up to the community we're gonna do weekends retreats we're gonna do a lot of stuff here I really have big plans for this place and thank you with a beautiful building like this a drone and a little bit of practice it's hard to screw it up A lot of people ask me where I get my music. It is the free music on the Creator Studio and YouTube for the most part. A lot of it is Sean Hogan and a lot of it is my friend Natalie. This whole episode has been YouTube's free music in the Creator Studio. I most often pick music where I don't have to post the creator only because it's confusing. That's the only reason why because I, I always forget to do it. I don't do it correctly. So I just pick music that doesn't need to be credited. I have a ton of mailbags backed up. I shot all the footage. I just haven't put it in because every week the vlog gets to be 15 minutes and I don't want to put another three minutes of mailbag in it. Maybe I'll do one long mailbag video and I'll put it as a sub link. But thank you all for sending me stuff. I appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you for the support and follow along on the building. Check out Kyle's channel and check out Kyle's Instagram. He's doing a daily story on it. Thank you for the love and support.